Ladies, gents, llamas, I have here a box. This is a box. I started to open it, and then I was like, no, don't open it. Because this box is from Blade HQ. Blade HQ recently released some things. Now, there are going to be some of you that are going to be like, oh, that's cool. And then there's going to be some of you that are going to be like, oh, man, that's what you got? But yeah, this is what I got. So let's open this box together and see what I got from their, you know, exclusive things. Yeah. Because this is the one that really speak to me. Spoke to me, not speaked. Speaked is not a word. I'm not speaking. <clears throat> wow, lots of these. PETA loves these. Is there no packing slip? Did they give me no pack? They gave me no packing slip. Well, at least I got this. Another fine piece for the collection. And it is a recent Blade HQ exclusive. Anybody know what it is so far? Anybody? I know, it's messed up. I don't have the mat down here. I don't have the correct mat. I'm sorry. Oh my god, it's the donut Zippo. It's the sprinkle design. Yeah, so Blade HQ just did another run of the donut knife. Knives. They had a pry bar this time. And I noticed that they had the donut, the dessert warrior sprinkle zippo. And I said, you know what? I must add that to the collection. Cause I will I will never, I will never have the donut knife. I won't. I might make one in the shop, Cerakoting, but I will never have that boker piece of crap. Um, but this I can have. This I will, uh, this, this will defend. This I can support, so it's just... Looks like it's uh, actually a, a laid-on graphic. Not even printed in this. So, that's interesting. That's how Zippo chose to go. Whereas the donut knife is, in fact, <clears throat> you know, like a painted kind of design. This is, um, what is this? This feels like it is a an overlaid graphic. Like, not actually... Is it silkscreened? Probably silkscreened, because... I could, I don't know, because I can, I feel like, I feel like there's an edge there that I could grab if I wanted to. So, just another nifty collection piece, you know, um, limited numbers. Look at that. See, I think that speaks to the fact right there that it's actually like a, like a wrap or something. But, you know, it's a Blade HQ exclusive, so you're not going to find them everywhere. That's the point. That's the thing about it. So, one more cute little addition to the Zippo collection. It's definitely some kind of wrap, yeah. <clears throat> but it's considered a Zippo Premium, right? Glad to have it. Um, I can't remember the actual price, but you know you can look it up on Blade HQ and find out. But there you go. Nothing special, nothing you know crazy to unbox with it, you know, or show off. It's just it is the official Sprinkle Edition Sprinkle Design Donut Lighter Dessert Warrior Lighter. There it is. What do you guys think? Anybody else into this donut line? The Dessert Warrior line? Do you know how it came about? Because somebody actually made a mistake. Um, they actually misspelled the Desert Warrior. They misspelled it the Dessert Warrior. And as the, it, it was a joke. And, and they ran with it. And then Blade HQ had the exclusive Dessert Warrior, which is the, the also famous donut knife. And, you know, now they have the the Buffet Warrior line coming out soon, so. I'm happy. It's just a cool piece for the collection. What do you guys think? Your thoughts? Yeah. It'll probably be released again. They always release these in, in small numbers and, and then in subsequent batches, so. If you're into the collecting and just want it as a piece, you'll be able to get it. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for joining me for this quick little unboxing. And as always, you guys are all absolutely awesome. I appreciate every single one of you, and I'll be back again with something not quite so delicious looking real soon.